Hello Infernal friends, welcome to this new video. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how good is uh, Infernal Bullion Master Duel with the new upgraded um, version that I have. This is the Flame Stormant uh, variant. And yeah, you may think that, hey, but that should be just for fun, not competitive. competitive. And I think you're wrong. Actually, there is potential in this engine, uh, as I discovered through playtesting a lot. Especially because we have Maxi and we shall, usually you play stuff like Connector, which is really nice, but it's not the best normal summon against Maxi. So just because that card is so prevalent and important in, in Master Duel format, I think Flame Stormman actually gives us an edge with the option to just go uh, with few normal summons and ending on like 3-4 really good in interruptions. So, uh, and also going second, like usually your hate edge is just a Rota, but now you can actually Rota with a uh, with a pop, like you could be a Rota or it could be a pop, you know, uh, the Flames on a quick spell. And usually you, we don't have uh, pops in the main deck like that that uh, are so um, beneficial because going second we actually have some problems. Then again, um, Connector or Ogre get, getting negated doesn't give you much more advantage. Maybe Ogre in the graveyard with a graveyard effect, but the Flamestorm and Guy gets negated. And then when it hits the graveyard, it gives you a pseudo extended if you have Witch or just another interruption. And also the, the Ogier uh, benefit because it gives you a Dragon with a targeting effect. So basically I think it has a lot of pluses. Of course it has some cons like the Bricks, but then I'm gonna show you the decklist, okay? Now uh, let's stop just the talking and go into the replay. So I have a lot, but I'm gonna show you only three, which I think are like really key important to showcase the potential of the deck. Uh, which are the three that I have public right here. So uh, let's watch them one by one. So first against Flanderies. Uh, yep, so it's right here. Okay, so we win the dice roll, the coin toss, and we go first, of course. Uh, we get Shifter. Okay, what are we doing against Shifter? Yeah, it could be Maxi or Shifter, but the, the, the idea is a hand trap that stopped your turn. So thankfully for us, we have the Fighting Flame Sword. I mean, we could have used it in main phase, I'd rather use it right now in draw phase, I think it's the same in this moment. And now, it's really simple, just normal summon the guy, get your Book of Moon Trap, oh, Ash Blossom. Unfortunate, now we don't have the Book of Moon Trap, um, but we just hard open one, like, I think it's fine. Because we still have this Book of Moon and Ash. I mean, at this point we don't know if Flander is, we're just gonna find out now. So, let's see. Mm. Yeah, he started with extravagance, and because we don't know the matchup yet, uh, we just ash that. I think if, like, it's just a solid overall. And then he go with Gold Sark, and now we see the Flandery stuff. And you may think, hey, your Book of Moon is not good enough because even if you book this guy, he can still combo in and then tribute that. Well, in that case, you just hold your Book of Moon. You don't have to use it right away, you know. You let him do the cute little combo. And just use the book of the book of moon when it actually uh, matters. And that's gonna be like in a bit. Yeah, he's using this. He's extending. Nice, nice. He's getting recovery, getting trapped. And yeah, that's the best moment of book of moon. So not only we like fully stop his turn, but now we don't have to deal with empty interruption yet. I mean, he, he still have town and he still has map. But, mm, just wait. Yeah, thankfully we got a good top deck. And now we actually have a fighting chance with Fighting Flame Sword. Pun intended. Uh, but keep in mind this was against Shifter, which is usually a killer against Inferno. Okay, so now he goes with the town. He's yeah, chain blocking, get, getting his stuff back. And now, when he tries to add the big bird, that's when we ash. That way, even if he is like keep summoning, I we know he has only small bodies in hand, so it's fine. Uh, Imperm. Well, yeah, usually you can't do much, but now you have a Griever effect. I mean, we already use the Book of Moon, so maybe it doesn't give you too much advantage. I'm not playing duplicates of the Salamandro trap, but um, yeah, still, the idea is that now there is no interruptions and it's all this game pretty much. I think he's gonna scoop at some point, but even if, yeah, he scooped. Because then we have full combo basically. Mintry Carrero and go on. And then Gear Blade to make stuff even easier. 
Okay, so that was the first replay against Shifter, remember that. So second replay is gonna be against uh, Centurion. Yeah. Once again, we win the coin flip, uh, we go first, and we horribly break. Like, break on hand drops at least. So, yeah, we set and pass. Hey, Gianfranco, but this Salamandra requires a fire. Why are you setting it? It's not an interruption. It is against Tempai. Just because Tempai exists, I think it's worth to just setting this. Yeah. Also, like, Fire King, Snake Eye, like, could come up the fire stuff, you know? So we shotgun Maxi in draw phase because even if it's dead or like and he was not gonna start with the inherent summon, we don't care, we don't have engine, we might as well use it. Like if if it go, goes to waste, we don't care. Yeah. yeah, so he just passed. Maybe he bricked and my maxi was um used uh horrible horrible, but I think it was worth because we have nothing and we even have another maxi, you know? So we keep throwing no engine. How are we, how are we going to win with these cards? Well, the answer is we don't. We have to survive until we get engine. That's the only way. Of course, we put the imperm there on purpose. So now the guy actually opens engine, or maybe he was holding it, but now he thinks he has enough engine. Let's see if that's true. So now we maxi once again. Goes through. Finally, a piece of engine. Not the best one, but something. And he decided to not continue the Maxi challenge. Yeah. And now, let's see what happens here. Oh boy, I think this is the turn. Yeah. We have Quibs, we have Oliver. Uh, I, I know sacrificing Lean Fossil like that hurts. Because we are wasting the center. But trust me, it is. Uh, it has a purpose. Maxi, are we gonna take the challenge? I think the answer is we will see. Okay, so he tries to use Phalanx on this, so we don't get access to anything else. But we had the Imperm on purpose, and we saved it there, and the lead was a proper moment to use. We could have shotgun this in draw phase or before Oliver touches the board, in case of a counter trap, a super poly, I don't know. Uh, but if the, we did that, then he just kept the set. And if for some reason we don't push enough, then he keeps the set for the next turn, but now he wasted. So that's why I decided to hold the Impro. Um, yeah, so Oliver stays. Why are you pulling, pulling Almaze here? What if it's Impro? Well, just so you know, Almaze requires two spell and trap zones. So I don't care if it's Impro because uh, if I put it here, then it's gonna put the Durendal here. So same outcome, okay? Yeah, we just need that, that, that that's not Impro. So now Bestial, fine, we don't care. No, not any real interruption right now. We now get finally the starter of the deck, Fighting Flame Sorman. And yeah, we get the sword. Now we are holding this to see if we actually need the Book of Moon, if we need the extender, or if we need the pop effect. So it's really good that it's versatile, you know? Now we go for Angelica. Angelica, chain block, solid. Yeah, in this case we just mill the other guy, but I think it's worth. We are playing around the yeah possible ash here. I mean he could ash the museum and probably he could have ash the Elmes uh, in the Durenda. Anyways, uh, we just take advantage of the free meal. And now this Durenda is useless, remember we already searched, it's just targeting. So that's what we do, target Angelica. Now he has droplets. And with droplet, he can negate the Angelica, right? And he even cost a monster. But guess what? We have a really, really nice thing to do. That's, yeah, our own Book of Moon. So now, thanks to with this, we are once again beating his back row. So we beat the Imperm with the Imperm, and now we beat his Droplet with our Salamander. Yeah, so it gets Book of Moon, so now Droplet doesn't do anything. And now Angelica goes through. Of course, it got banished uh, face down, keep, keep that in mind, but um, still, we keep pushing, that's what we wanted. Uh, we already took the maxi challenge, so we might as well fully, fully commit, okay? Yeah, so now we use this, we get bodies, we get more bodies, we get salt. Yeah. So at this point, goes through, so he probably doesn't have any more uh, useful hand drops. 
and that means that we are most likely winning this yeah because at this point uh, we could have committed more summons but there is no need we already have a game on board remember how powerful gear blade is to be honest i think i did a little misplay like i think there was game earlier with like, fewer summons maybe if we utilize the flame sorbent but still we just achieved uh, the OTK condition so now we just attack pop the guy and ggs then repeat <laughs> I think it's really weird to win having Roland and not Charles but it is what it is what if the next draw was a powerful hand drop you know so now let's go into the final replay against what's that you, you ask wait a second okay so here we go he won the dice roll he is going first we only open imperm is it enough let's figure it out yeah that's gold pride do you know what these cards do? I wasn't completely sure, I don't fully know this matchup So I was reading of course everything he did, uh, he did. Yeah, I see he's searching, I'm holding the Imperm maybe for uh, an extra deck monster There was not an extra deck monster We know the trap, we know the guys We can read that this guy says I can get the extra deck monster, the interruptions So he's basically an interruption and we open a really solid hand. You may think that hey, fighting and flame, I mean fighting and fighting, redundancy. Not always, especially going second. And then a couple of Rogras, which yeah, this is a really nice hand. So yeah, we start with that. He goes maxi and we have to take the challenge. And now we go with normal. He uses this, which I think it was known, yeah. And guess what? He, with this card, he's actually getting an extender on top of an interruption. Like he's, he wants to pop our guy and then gets a special summon from the deck, maybe into a synchro summon in my turn, a fusion summon, sorry. But we can negate the effects, so that's why actually open them together going second is nice. Now we negate both things, the pop and oh, never mind, he has the judgment. I think that's still good. We force the judgment, you see? The judgment with a quick play. Like he was forced to do it because he has too much advantage in this trap so i think in my book that's still a good trade because we still have gas in him a lot yeah and guess what popping flame it's amazing for us because we don't lose the effect and we can actually trigger the, the other effect but in fact the other effect is useless not every time remember fairy with witch is amazing it's a free extender and that's what's gonna happen here yeah, he synchro summon into this guy, which is a, another interruption, a pop. Now, we have the extender. So at this point, I think this was a little misplay, because I forgot about the maxi challenge. I think that there was easier way to win if we just Durendal into red layer first. Okay, keep an eye on that. Yeah, so now he pops switch, we don't care. I mean, maybe it has a purpose to do it like this now. If we had a red layer, maybe he holds the pop. So yeah, committing cards one by one has a benefit. But in my book, there was a really nice play with red layer. Uh, yeah. Now, once again, we don't get the red layer. And now, that could also be a misplay. Maybe if I want a turbine, I should have used Rora. Yeah, so then if I want to summon turbine, I equip Durendal and then I can summon turbine. But I was planning just that I needed Turpin, I didn't really care too much how. Oh, yeah, so now that guy's negated, there's nothing to do. Now we got the Flame Sorma. Mm, yeah, we summon the Dragon. Uh, we get the Rora. So here, as you can probably telegraph, uh, my idea is to make Baron the Fleur. With this guy making a Tuner. So now we have 5-5. Five, five. But maybe it was better to just go for game easier. Maybe just equip this to him and just put bodies and then attack, attack, attack and go for a game yeah, quicker because of the maxi. Yeah, but anyways, this works now. Whatever he's drawing, he needs two hand traps and good ones. Otherwise, we just keep extending and therefore winning. Yeah, now we pop and yeah, we don't have game yet, but with one more summon, now we have game because Angelic is gonna be 17 with the museum. Then this is 1k, yeah, and win. And that was a lot of interruptions, maybe 5. It was the judgment, the synchro guy that pops, the trap that pops, um, what else? 
the guy on board that we had to infer, otherwise it was an interruption. Oh, and maybe I'm missing one more. Mm. Oh, Maxi, yeah. So, not bad, not bad. I think we only had engine plus infer. So yeah, it's good match, good match. Now let's go into the deck profile. Okay boys, so here we are. Yeah, I know, I know. 60 cards, oh, that's crazy. At first I was playing this at 40, then 42, then 45. Um, so yeah, basically at the end I decided that, you know what? In this version I have the most amount of hand traps, which means I have the high, highest percentage of opening two. Because when I was playing 40, 42, I was feeling just really, really few amount of hand traps. It was really hard. And, I, and I'm talking about playing like only one flame swordman. Um, yeah, playing minimal, minimal engine. Don't play the, yeah, the callback rolls also. It was hard. I decided, you, you know what? We have a really good amount of um, starters, extenders, so we can afford to go this high. And also, we don't actually care about opening the maxi out. Because as you saw, we, we get maxi or shifter. We have better plans B than before. Like, all you really need is like open your red layer so you, or your witch, which you, you play five. So then your first summon. Uh, doesn't get that draw because usually people hover the maxi. Then normal your guy, search for the quick play. Then maybe at the resolution you get maxi before you can make an extra summon. So at that point you get summon IP. Quick play into this trap, Source Dance, which at first I thought it sucked and it was the worst one out of the two. But then I realized actually that's nice because you cannot use the quick play to access the Salamandra. So under Shifter, uh, you cannot access this trap, but you can access the other one. And if the, the shifter, shifter player is playing like a Kashira, then this is really nice. This stops Kashira easily. Or, uh, yeah, what's your name? Uh, yeah, Tempe Dragon as well. I mean, both us. Uh, anyway, so the idea is you just give them one to two draws and then on the IP and both traps. And that's strong. But IP requires a monster and this requires a fire. Yeah. Swords and is doing that for you, just that. Give you a monster that is fire. So then you can book a moon one, twice, and then IPSP. Four interruptions and solid ones, non targeting book of moon. Yeah. Do you want to kill your IP uh, in battle? Um, yeah, you can just use this. So, yeah, that's the idea. That's why on, in 60, I don't think it's a bad concept in this uh, variant. Because actually, you have some cards you don't want to draw. Like the Salamandra, these, like you can use them again. This getting you this, and then this hitting the Gregor with the Witch gives you an extender, gives you the Dragon, and that thing there is really nice to make early like Charles, Baron, or SP with both effects. But it's not ideal, they are not, um, yeah. So this 60 card version is for you to, to try. Maybe you can put it to 50. Like I was testing this as 50, and it was also really solid. Just got the Veiler or, or Nick. And, um, play fi um, and the gamma and just play 15 hand traps and then maybe call the uh, cut this call by package or a salt package yeah and if you wanna play that 42 yeah then you gotta cut a lot of things and maybe only fit nine hand traps which is not good enough in my book but now with 20 hand traps in 60 that's like playing 14 hand traps in 40 in 42 uh, so now we can actually have a good time going second uh, it's not like you are adding wars extenders because in the 40 card version I only had one fighting flame swordman, but now I have three, so I I added more one card starters, you know, 1.5 to be honest. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I think this is self-explanatory. Oh yeah, the second red layer is because I value a lot going second and then having the free recover, but that's totally a flex spot. There is no flint because uh, without connector. Like, you don't actually need a, high, a warrior that summons generically because this guy is a fire warrior. I mean, this could be flint if you want. Like, there is one benefit if his soul first effect, first effect gets negated and then your flint gets you a second. But you also have your realm into OG Sormon to do that role. So, I haven't missed flint one bit, but free spot. What other card could you play? You could also cut to fighting some non engine and just fit a connector package. I think it's not gonna conflict too much in 60. Because the quick play, if you already have a solid normal summon, this can get you the extender or the interruption. So the quick play and being able to circumvent the normal summon clogging problem is really nice in my opinion. A 
as well as being in draw, because it can be chained to draw or in draw phase. Um, yeah, so really solid uh, approach for Inferno World variant. Uh, as you can see, I'm not playing the Ultimate Flame Swordman or the Salamander Equip because I'm not trying to play Flame Swordman, I'm trying to play Inferno World. So I decided that I don't have a space for that in the extra deck and the equip is just not needed. I'd rather have the second arena and more consistency. I think you saw some games where we won actually because of we uh, opening Durendal. So the uh, Durendal have uh, uh, been the sixth equip because we got a run six in my book, in my map. I think that's just a better draw than the Salamandra Brick, the, the equip one. Um, and yeah, we, we don't need ultimate. Like, I was also using this approach in TCG. Ultimate is nice, cool, not needed. Yeah, like you can even OTK with this package, like having Flame Swordman 18, seven, uh, 700 more, so he's 25. With Museum, he's 3k. With Realm, he can be 4k and attacking twice. And then you can you have gear rate for even one more attack, so yeah, you can have an OTK potential just on the fusions uh, easily. So I think the extra deck is like perfect, I wouldn't change one card, like of course I want to add Heat and Access Code, but there's just no space. I think what I have in the extra deck is just the exact, the exact card by card. A Bulusa comes up a lot. I have an Isolde and a Body, and then maybe the Realm. Um, and then when you open a Witch, like yeah, yeah, you're making a Bulusa a lot actually. So every card in the extra deck comes up. So I, I wouldn't change anything. Like the IP is really good. That that's the whole point of having your Plan B against um, Maxi Shifter stuff like that. Uh, are you losing to draw more with this variant? Not really, because remember, it can be used in draw phase. Uh, and with the sold, you have way more plays than only having Angelica like in TCG to beat the draw. Mm, yeah. So, would I draw myself against Maxi? Probably, yes, I would. The idea is you just go for Angelica first. Angelica resolve, search Museum, search Durendal, search something else. Trigger Angelica, second effect, mill. Summon Roland, boom, throw your... I mean, they draw off Maxi, throw your draw. Yeah, and then just keep comboing on their draw. Um, yeah, I think I have, I have nothing else to say here. So I hope that you enjoyed this explanation. Um, and this uh, showcase of the deck. So yeah, I have faith in this. Uh, I grind it from like silver or bronze into diamond. Diamond 2 or even Diamond 1 at this point, I don't remember. Uh, but I, I will probably try to get at least into a Master 5. Um, yeah, before the season ends. And that's it. Have a good day. Ask me any questions, please, in the comments, in my Discord. Please, in Discord, you can talk to me. You can ask me. Um, we, have, we even have a server, so please feel free to, to request the, uh, so I can uh, integrate you there. Like, you can join there. And that would be it. So yeah, gotta go to sleep now. Have a good day or night, depending what time is it.